Hello there. We're back at Atlanta for NDS's round of 12. Look at qualifying here. Ready to go. And here we are. 42 starters already. The two of Jake on pole. One and a half mile track. New banking. New configuration. Just not the Atlanta of old. This one's going to be a lot more eh, treacherous, to say the least. The two car leading the field to green to kick off the Osco Uniform 500. Here we go. And off into turn one. I already see some cars three wide, but. They're going to have a good grip for now. <laughs> for now. Down the back. Still three wide. But two, trying to figure out what lane he wants to go into. Want to keep a 10 down while you can. And big three wide out the first gate. Four, Mizzou going four wide. Leaders spreading out as much as they can. Oh, that's a five wide situation. Not going to work. Racer in the wall. Several cars spinning out there. First caution of the race is going to be significant in stature here. Now you talk about being aggressive on the start. Talk about one, two, three, four. Let's go helicopter cam here. You can see they were five wide. And it didn't take long for that to not work. Several drivers saving it. Others not so much. Racer in the wall hard. Up onto the wall. Frosty involved. CS having to slow down. BS hits into it. A 9 of Logan, 74 of Jerry. And then the 52 down the track. More trouble further ahead. The 17 got some shots in there. Got a lot of drivers. Definitely getting some damage there. Not really sure how it'll affect their days, but first caution going to be for a pretty significant reason. Let's take a look. 52, 74, and 14. Teen all out of the race. Frosty Wolf one lap down. Yeah, Racer and Wannabe and Canadian Lux all behind the eight ball early on here. Jake's back here with damage. Hyper to get a little bit. We'll see how he runs. It shows the tell of how like Immediate those drivers were like going five wide lap two. That's something. But Mizzou leads this field so far as we're gonna have our first restart coming up. Green flag, green flag, back in the air. Mizzou to the green. And the three car not really not having a lot of pep in the step at all, so Interesting to see how the drivers handle this. They're going to go all the way wide. Look at, look at Vader going super low around the three. Trying to force them up as many lanes as they can. But we have a small group of leaders just kind of and on their own oasis here. Ben and Mizzou pushing for the lead. Others just existing 
with them here. KSS, BSS, Team Duke, RS Fast and 11. Still plenty of pitfalls to go in the round of 12, so let's not act like one wreck is going to end the season. Oh, look, another wreck. Wonder what it could be for this time. Oh, have a 10 of racers destroyed. Who? Oh, that's. That's something. The second wreck of the race is, uh. Born ready. Yeah, this group right here was kind of like a ticking time bomb. 27 doesn't respect the 6, actually challenges him down low. And there he goes, just straight up. Darkest Presence got into the pack as well. Jake with a good avoidance. CS, Hyper get by. Racer, not so much. Racer lands a direct shot on the puff. Sending him into a nose spin maneuver before landing right on his lid. Presence with some hood damage. Yeah, landing got to the back of Darkest Presence as well, so. Keep in mind, that was a pretty big wreck. There's several groups of cars going up the track into the wall. Racer was off the pace, anyways. So, I really think it didn't really matter how that happened, though. The 10, just bad to worse, now a 27 challenge with damage. Several cars. I think most drivers pitted. I'll tell you one thing, that 35 car... Stayed out for track position, so Darth Vader, not to be confused with Vader 070707, is leading this race. Kind of a funky standings here. As now Wannabe is also a lap down with Frosty Wolf. As the 9, 17, 88, 6, 91, 55, 10 all out of the race. For those of you who, um, Really missed the cautions when they went away at Homestead. They were all chilling in Atlanta. I can't imagine why. I imagine with each car destroyed, kind of softens the blow for the 52, but still. I think he's in a must-win situation. We'll see how the others stack out here. They get to the green flag run. Green, green, green. You have a three car. He's going to be slow again, so we'll see who gets by. And the left and the fifty one's not exactly a spring chicken either. Vet Nation gets an easy pass for the lead on the restart going through one and two. RS Fast and Eleven kind of a little ways back. Him, Duke, and Jacob been doing nothing but dodging the wrecks in the back of the field. Yeah, Duke's there. Jake's a little ways ahead. Now up in the lead group. Eastlamp looking for two in a row after his spending almost four whole seasons searching for his first win. KSS BSS, another winless driver looking for something here. Zents and Cannoli in the main pack. Even Fred Jones. The 86 of Fred Jones popping off here so far. See what he can do given what he's got. Now it's just a chase for the 18. And there's still going to be cars challenging other cars. To dare to drop as low as they can. You see still three wide here. Code Warrior in the front group. Just looking for points.
16 FCS fast and 11 back there. But so far, KSSBS is setting himself up in second right now. Looking for this pass for the lead. With 20 years of NR2003, wouldn't it be great to see Fred Jones stun the world for points race fantasy drivers everywhere? He's currently sitting in a comfortable fourth place, which would be his career best finish if he were to finish here. Cannoli looks low on the four, maybe trying for a little bit of extra track position. Toad Warrior gets to the side of Fred Jones, so he doesn't want to let him there. There's Born Ready. He's way off the pace. His Ben has to go all around him. Yikes. Yeah, think about Talladega, except 50 times worse. Oh, but 35 just ran into the back of Born Ready. Uh, excellent job driving there, Darth Vader. I'm sure you will be pleased to know that you're passing the slow car and letting the 31 get away from other drivers. Maybe he's on his way to pit road. Uh, oh, yeah. With damage like that, big mistake. Up front, KSS BSS. Pass for a lead. There's a few slower cars. Arn, Landon, Darkest Presence. And now the high side trying to work to push past. But Fred Jones on the low lane just kind of not getting any help down there. Maybe that's part of the run where the cars move up the track. Try to get higher. So you don't have to grip their tires as hard down the low side. But Ben and Toad are still fighting down there. The 07 having to choose a different tactic. One of Toad Warriors has had good runs, but come playoff time, just can't seem to find it. Maybe the fifth season will be nicer to him as three lap cars all in a row here. Side by side with Landon, Arn, and Darkest Presence all in a row here. The outside gets the jump, but I think the 07 is going to try and pass low here. Oh, yeah. Put the lap car through wide middle. Look at this. Oh, Mizzou gets turned. Around in the wall. Goes for 30. Sip. Big hit. More involved. Jake avoids another one. Is Duke with a little bit of damage. Bissell and Volley. Big hits there. Once again, I mean, yeah, they're dodging lap cars, which is definitely a tricky proposition. But the 66 dropped low and just plowed through Mizzou. Huh. 66 with big damage there. Huh. Why are you damaged, 66? Because you suck. 66 don't make the good fucking decisions. Yeah, Bissell hits hard. Duke scrapes it a little bit. Volley hits hard. Third caution of the day. And we are still trying to find out who will be leading this race. Now be a good time for that. Alsco sponsorship. Alsco Uniforms. Their uniform rental business. That I have never rented from. They've been sponsored NASCAR races. I'm not sure if they've done an Atlanta race. But they've done a Charlotte race. They've done. Other. Tracks probably. They've done Road America last season. Of my choice. But still. It, I'm a little pretend here is fun. But yeah. That's all for Alsco. Not really a big user of them. But. 
Good sponsor to racing. Yeah, several lap cars. 20 cars in the lead lap. Obi-Wan Cannoli got lapped with the damage. Landon, Presence, Arn all lapped down. Frosty Wolf is lapped down. So Mizzou, Volley, Darth Vader, Bissell, those cars are out of the race. So up front, Toad Warrior first, then East Lamp, then Fred Jones, then KSS, then RS, Zentz, Krugmeyer, Hyper, Ben, and Ace are your top ten. Let's see how Toad Warrior handles this restart here. Back up the speed. Green flag is back out. And oh boy. Restart's going to be more hectic now that everybody wants to get by the three. You see those lead lap cars rim riding the top side. Oh my god. A little intense there, but 14 of them, or maybe lost one, but still. Good amount of cars looking to run that line, see what they've got going on here. Toad Warrior out front. You know, a big group of non-playoff guys fighting for it. I think the only one who could benefit from the win here, 07, 31, 16. Come to think of it, playoff drivers have not been having a good time at Atlanta. This is a far cry from the round of 16 when everybody was like apex efficient. We got drivers messing up left and right. I mean, they got big points payout for the 07 and the 31 waiting at the um, end of the rainbow here. Hey, look, want to be wrecked. That's another caution. Take a look, see. This was one lap after the restart. Yeah, it's the same thing that's been bugging all the other drivers. 68 gets in there real deep, spins him out. Oh! The two car dodges another one with style. 66 gets some damage. 39, pretty heavily damaged. Just another blemish on the season from hell. Cannoli in the wall. Impact again. A little more damage on the 66. The 39 was having a decently good run. Now he's just... It's just gone. From him. Another caution. Another round of... Stops here. Uh, maybe they'll stay out this time. They didn't run that many laps. No reason to come in. Well, maybe for some drivers. Vader with an extended stay on pit road is hyper 19th place in this line. 19 cars in the lead lap. Code Warrior looking for a Pretty uncontested win here if you keep getting caution stuff. Pat is pat it here. The one looking good for another restart. Here they go. Green flag back out underway. Their presence and landing are gonna try and stick with these leaders. Oh, never mind. They're eating each other alive up here. Thirty one getting Little pussy foot behind him. It's not a lap car is really starting to become more oppressive. I mean, if there's any race for them to do it, it'd be this race because not very many playoff guys are popping off anyways. But the 07's in the top five, but that's really about it. So they're four wide. With lap traffic, holy shit. They're really uber cucking the 31 right now. Still, though, good run for those who are making it. Duke's making it look pretty good. 
about this front group right here. KSS in the lead. Everybody else fighting. Every which lane they've got. I think it. I doubt we'll go green to the end, but I think they'd have to make a stop if they do. Maybe. The 07 and the 4 battling for the lead. Krugmeyer, KSS. 07 just got something going in turn 1, seeing what they can come up with here and now. 7th place, King, Ben, a few other stragglers coming out to visit tonight. I think this is finally a time where everybody is able to just strap in, sit back, and let them have a long run. Top 6 are balling right now. Take a look elsewhere. You see those single file cars. All the way back to Donald Trump, 14th. Nah, 51 or 31 is going to come flying right on by the 68 for a position. F4 ace, pretty quick. Board ready, still not as screwed as you think he is. Actually running inside the lead lap, looking for a top 15 finish. Picard. Managed to hold on. So far, so good. Actually, he's 19th right now. Bourne actually is a lap down. 18 cars on the lead lap. Bourne race first of the lappers, so... Oof. Three of Frosty Wolf trying to hang on. And out back is just for stragglers that are struggling. 66. Having a tough time. And back out to the up front. I think these three up front trying to shed the slower cars from the lead group, as you see the 02 and especially the 86, trying to wheel it and struggle to get up there. Lap car is definitely going to be playing a big factor here once they start rolling in. Eastlamp able to get back up to the group he's in. There's even a second group behind this get behind these guys. No push for the 07 to really make his move there. And I think the 86 is coming back into the air. As they're running up on the 66 right now. Zent's having to make his move. Oh, Kind of pussyfoots it and they let KSS go through. The one car kind of stuck in the rut here. Now, if a second group could be a bit more organized, maybe they could catch up with these guys. 66 falling back. It's KSS BSS. Running a good race so far. No, run up on another lap car. This time go low. Oh, Zens didn't get the memo. Comes off the track as, oh, Fred Jones turns the 26 into the wall. Back up across the track. Oh, big hit. King, CS, damaging. And Jake's evasion skills finally run out on him as the next caution is out. They're pretty obvious. See what happened there. Yeah, very odd to see a wreck like this happen, but it was pretty much a product of a long time coming to see Zents grinding the wall down, going 
for a pass here, and then he just popped off it a little too hard. Fred Jones is not sparing him any room there. Hard hit for the 26. Does holds the break right up into the track as King of Kings hits him. CS and Jake. Jake's luck finally runs out. Another set of DNFs. No set of pit stops. 54 out of the race. 16 out of the race. If 26 is a lap down, but he's still trying to repair. No, he's out of the race. As lap cars really just starting to make up track position here now that now that more cars are getting out of this race. Fifteen on the lead lap back to Jake. I think there are six lap cars lined up down low. Yeah. Not really many cars left in general here. Yeah, I've been kind of tweaking with the aggression settings. I, would you call this a hit? I don't think I really hit on it, though. And you can't say it's a miss because a driver you don't like is doing well. That's just bias. But overall, it's a, it's a balance after the calmness of Homestead. We go, green flag back out. And cars go back up to speed. There are three wide all over the place with lap cars. Just the lead lap cars filing off to the high side, trying to skirt by. And that's exactly what's going to happen. More of them are going to get by. I think everyone back to the 08 might get a chance here. And more cars in the lead group definitely adds to the level of energy that the pack has. The 18, first among them, to really insert himself into this Toad Warrior grinding down the wall. Saves it, though, but 21 nah, knows better than to run to the back of him. Just kind of lifts off a little bit for him. Eighteen of Ben McDonald looking for all the points he can get. Oh seven in the wall. Smoothly exits the wall is now Team Duke. I haven't really talked about much of him all day. He's just kind of been snooping mid pack. Now he's up to the top five. Hello, Mr. Eleven. Speaking of eleven. Our fast lane 11 is moving himself around the low side. 86 scrubs the wall through 1 and 2. Ben McDonald trying to make a pass for a lead without any help here. Side by side mess. RS hyper up inside the top 5. Uh, I think they're definitely trying to train it around the high side to get as much as they can around there. But the 31, looking low so far. 21 going to help. Low side definitely is the place to be. You want to watch out when someone tries to put, put, put one on you. You don't want to get got and then have to deal with the consequences of going all the way around. 18. A little high there, but he makes it work. Do 
Toad Warrior back to basics. In the one, just chilling low. Another back too wide. Trying to figure out which lane gets the most momentum off here. 31 leads late. F4 Ace just kind of sitting around back there. Seeing how anything crazy happens. Fred Jones going going low, looking what he's gotta get going. Just doesn't have the power of KSS up there. Single it back out too wide. Toad Warrior challenging for the lead late. Yeah, Toad Warrior gonna move up to the front here. KSS looking low on East Lamp. Don't want to play it stupid here. Going this far. Don't want to fail now. Fred Jones trying to solve the enigma of how to get a weaker car past stronger cars. RS Fast 11 setting up the one for a late race pass. Lap cars happen as the one. Oh, actually make contact with the 66 is now everybody's starting to struggle with lap traffic here. The one car gets good separation, but I'm not sure if that's enough. From the 31. Duke has a two-car tandem with him in the 86. F4 Ace is back in the mix is the last of those cars passing lap traffic. Four lap cars coming up ahead. Maybe RS Fast 11 can use this as his chance to win here. Just waiting for the opportunity to arise. I think now, he, he chose now, he does not want to wait any longer. Not really the patient type, but it gets the job done. RS Fast 11 making the move around Toad Warrior. Is now Team Duke with drafting help behind him. The Toad switching up. Looking, but not executing on it. The 11 keeps third. Toad just peeking. Just now he goes for it. Not gonna not sure if they're gonna run into this mess right here. Speaking of mess, they got a mess behind them. Team Duke could take it for himself as Toad and RS continue swapping here. The one leads late with lane choice. Four lap cars, and they're all next to each other. What is it going to take? Everybody gets stopped. Who's going to get through first? Nobody. The 11. He's there. This is going to be a crazy finish. Team Duke getting by on the low side. Big chunk of lap cars. As Team Duke is scooting away. Nobody wanted to cooperate with each other. Two to go. They're still bunched up. Who knows? They try to catch the 11. The 07 there. 21 on the high side. Two to go and the other cars break out. Varying position here. All single file. Hyper challenging Duke. Those seven looks low. Team Duke with the lead. White flag. 07 low. He's got to run. 
not quite able to use it there. Lack of help is really what's hurting him. Team Duke, he's got clearance. He's got separation. He's got it all. And what he's about to get is to punch his ticket into the round of eight. Team Duke holds off for a win. Top 10 just finishing right now. Holy hell. Several slow cars still trying to make their way out, but that's what gets it done. 0 3 3 is a very close margin, but Team Duke hangs on for it all. Holy cow, 21 cars finishing the race. Now, I'd say Tony said the word Tony Stewart. He did himself a good job here. Got half the field wrecked out. So plenty of plenty of busted up cars, sheet metal, scrap, shit tear through. So I'm sure the mechanics will have a great day with this race. That's all we got for today. We will see you next time. Take care.